Hello, this is Stephanie from my pastorcmaexam.com. Today, I will show you the Wiley CMA Excel learning system and walk you through the CMA test bank. Wiley has taken over the publication of the CMA learning system and the online intensive review products, which were originally created and updated by the IMA. Wiley's CMA exam products are the only one officially licensed by the IMA. You can find my pros and cons analysis of this Wiley CMA review on this page of my site. In this video, I'm going to focus on showing you the look and feel of the products. Wiley CMA Excel Learning System. This is the Wiley CMA Excel page, and we'll check out the CMA Learning System here, which includes the textbooks as well as the online test bank. As you can see, there are digital format and the print format of the textbook. I usually recommend the ebook because you can save a lot on tax and shipping. Let me give you an example. Wiley offers free shipping if you live in the US, but depending on the state, you will need to pay $50 or more on the taxes. In this case, in California, we will need to pay $83 on the tax. Shipping to international locations is expensive. Let's say if you go to um, Australia, for example, you will see that the shipping cost is $175. This applies to the rest of Asia and to the Middle East as well. In any case, I know some of you like the touch and feel of a real book, so I'm going to show you how it looks like. Here's the table of content of part one. The content is divided into five sections and 17 subtopics, covering planning, budget and forecasting, performance management, cost management, internal controls and professional ethics. If you're familiar with the Wiley CPA textbooks, you'll find the CMA version less overwhelming with bigger font and more white spaces in the margins. There's a knowledge check at the end of each subtopic to help check your understanding of the concepts. At the end of the book, you'll find a piece of paper with access information on the CMA test bank. There is a simple activation process and I'll show you exactly what I did. How to activate your Wiley CMA Excel test bank. This is the web page where you input your PIN. A PIN is a series of alphanumeric numbers, and you can imagine this PIN as the key to unlock the door to access the test bank. After activation, you can input your personal details as I've done here. Then, go to my products page, and you will see all products I got from Riley. I have both CPA and CMA test banks here. Today is June 18, 2014, and this shows that I'll have two years access to the CMA test bank. Now, let's take a look at the layout and the questions. This is the main page of the test bank. There are three study modes, practice questions, study tests, and practice exam. The practice questions are meant for those who just started studying and need time to understand the concepts. There's no time constraints for each question and it offers immediate feedback. You can pick and choose the topics depending on how much time you have and probably your mood if you feel like studying a particular topic. For now, I'll just select all and move on. It is important to spend time reading the explanations because that's how you learn. Sometimes I'll actually go over all the answers just to see why they are wrong. It's a great and interactive way to learn about the concepts. Let's move on to question two. And you, as you see, you do the same thing, answering all the questions. You can pause if you choose to. And now let's go to the section test. There are five tests for section A to E in part one of the CMA exam. 
When you launch one of the sections, you will see that the screen looks like the one you will see in the actual exam, including this navigation and direction page. This time, we have got the timer here, and you will see that you have to answer all the questions before you see the answer at the end, just like what you expect in a real test. There's a calculator here, as well as a timetable, time value table for your reference. If there's a question that you're not sure of or that you want to mark it for reference, you can click on the Mark button here. On the Review button, it will show you the progress. As you can see, we marked question number four, and the incomplete ones are also marked here. You can choose to review based on the incomplete questions or the mark questions. At the end, you have a choice on whether to record this session or not. For now, I'll click No and let's go back to the main page. The last study mode is a practice exam, which is designed to help you prepare for the actual exam. It consists of 100 randomly selected multiple choice questions representing all five part one sections in approximately the proportion that are used in the CMA exam. You will see the proportion here, and you can repeat this exam as many times as you wish. Again, there's a timer here that shows us three hours for this practice exam. The format is the same as the practice test we just went through. Lastly, let's look at analytics. This is a page showing the history of my studying and the progress. It lists out the type of studying sections, the number of questions, the number of answered questions, the number of correct questions, the score, and the duration. If we click on one of the numbers, it will show you the exact section that we went through. There's also this exam resources of useful links from the IMA website. There will be new content in the CMA exam beginning 2015. If you're taking the exam in January and onwards, make sure you get the latest CMA learning system, which will be available in July 2014. I hope this is a useful walkthrough of the Wiley CMA Excel review. If you have any thoughts, comments, or stories to tell, please drop me a note in the comment section. You might want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more updates as well. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.